Hey guys, welcome to CR Entity Designers. This is Chetan, and this is the Hard Surface Modeling Hack 3. So don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. And now let's get started. So we will start with a cylinder, and you need to add a cylinder, and we will go with the 16 words. After that, you need to rotate this cylinder into 11.25 degree. So just rotate the cylinder into the 11.25 degree or something like that. After that, you need to rotate this cylinder into the 90 degree. And then you can need to add the loop cuts like this. After that, select this face loops and then delete these faces. And now we will work on this part. So just select this face and then just scale it down along the Y axis and then extrude it along the Y axis and then scale it down along the Y X and Z axis means it's a local axis. After that, you need to select these words, right click and then connect vertex path. And same here, right click and then connect vertex path and just create a chord based topology on the model. Select these words, right click and then connect vertex path. Then you need to select these faces. So we need to create face loop structure. So that's why you need to select these faces and then press I for the insert operation. And then you need to select the center faces and then press I for the insert operation. After that, you need to extrude it along the Y axis and then give the right position to this. And then you need to select the edge and you need to add the bevel on that edge. After that, you need to give the right width for the bevel. And we can adjust the bevel angles later on. So you need to select this edge and you can use the move tool to adjust the bevel angles and the and you can give the right decent look decent looking bevel to your model. Okay, then you need to add the loop cuts and we need to create a chord based topology here. So just select these words, right click and then connect vertex path. Select these words, right click and then connect vertex path. After that, you need to select these all words or you can say edges and then scale them along the Y axis and give the value 0, S, Y and then 0. Then you need to add the loop cuts like this. So Ctrl R and add the loop cuts like this. And don't need to worry about the form. Just select these edges and then dissolve them. Same thing we can do to the other side. Okay, so just select these edges and then dissolve them. After that, we need to create one more time the chord based topology and the right loop structure. So that's why you need to add the loop cuts here. So Ctrl R and then add loop cuts and then you need to select these words and then connect them. You can use the right click and then connect vertex path. After that, with the Ctrl R, you need to add the words at the center of these edges. And then you need to select these words and then connect them with the right click connect vertex path. And now you need to give the right position to this word so you can use the edge slide and use the edge slide with the double tab G and give the right position to the words and keep the same distance in between these edges. And now you can see we have created one loop structure at there. Then you need to add the loop cuts like this and then select these words and then connect them. And then you can dissolve these edges. So Ctrl X and then dissolve them. And now you can see. And then just add loop cuts here because these loop cuts will help us to maintain the form of the model. These are the supportive loop cuts or supportive edges or you can say the geo. Then you need to add the subdivision surface modifier on the model and then increase its level count, sub D count and then shade smooth it. And now you can see the loops around the model. And we are, we are getting the decent look for the model, just we need to add few more loop cuts on the model so we will get more decent look and the more harder edges wherever it's necessary. And that's look fine. And if you want more harder edges, then you can add the loop cuts at like this because we have created the right loop structure so we will get the harder edges all over the mesh. 
so we will get a more decent look and it's totally depend on your design which kind of look do you want so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care